Today we're talking about keeping track of your prospects. Hey, it's Tom Jacobs, TomJacobs.com. I hope you're having a fantastic day today. Welcome to the channel, TomJacobs.com. If you haven't subscribed already, please go ahead and do that by clicking on the subscribe button right there. I really appreciate it. And plus, you'll be notified every time a new video comes alive. Make sure you're checking out, by the way, the playlist that I put together with different sales, different storytelling, uh, building business, all the different content that I've provided right here on YouTube and uh, also on my website as well. So uh, a little plug there. But today, let's talk about tracking your prospects. So when I first got into business, you know, 10 plus years ago, and I was actually doing sales, I would get leads in and I would find it very difficult to keep track of leads and where they were in the cycle of getting in contact with them. Because sur surely you, you have prospects that, that come to you and they leave you a message, they send you an email, what have you, try to contact them and, and then nothing happens after the first contact. Of course not, nothing is ever gonna happen after the first contact unless you continuously follow up with them, which is part of the follow up, follow through process, which I've talked in depth about as well as part of my program as well. There's certainly a lot of technology out there that allows you to track the process of getting in contact with your prospects, but it could be as easy as an Excel sheet where you keep track of who's called you, their phone number, email address, what have you, and then how many times you have contacted them and when you have contacted them. Because if you lose contact with the prospect, you know, think about what the average transaction value is of a client. And for a lot of my clients, uh, that transaction value for them and their clients, it, it's in the thousands of dollars. So every one of those prospects is worth thousands of dollars. And if you think about it that way, you better be tracking that prospect until they either tell you to stop or they come in for a consultation. And that is the key, is to be so thorough with your follow-up that somebody either tells you to stop, I'm not interested anymore, or they come in for a consultation. And now, with the technology, I use a program called Pipedrive, happy to help you with that. But if you have less than 10 leads coming in a month, then an Excel spreadsheet should be just fine for you to keep track of that. And you wanna keep track of when they contacted you, where they are in the process, did they come in for a consultation, just all those different buckets of where a prospect is in their life cycle of becoming a client. Because it's in those metrics and then those numbers that you're going to be able to get some really good information. So there's two, really two reasons why you need to be tracking this. One is to make sure that those prospects don't go uncalled. And then two is to see where in the process you might need to be improved and where, where things are going just fine. So there you have a couple tips on keeping track of prospects as they come in and why it's so important to keep in touch with them because you never know when they're ready to buy. So they've already said, hey, I'm kind of interested. Now follow up with them assertively until they either tell you to stop or they actually come in for a consultation and buy from you. But it is your duty and obligation to make sure that you are tracking those prospects and seeing where you might need to improve. So there you go. I hope this was helpful for you. If you don't mind, if you could please just put a little comment below, let me know how these are working for you and subscribe to the channel as well. And until next time, you have a great day.